Why don't you tell us more about the ocean? It's so scary, Gabe. You just don't even understand. Um, so <laughs> in my notes, I wrote ocean equal scary. And uh, <laughs> there's a reason for that. Because there's just stuff down there that's been here since before the dinosaurs lived through an entire, like, whatever that was hitting the planet, ice ages, whatever the world could throw at it. It's like, whatever, this is a Tuesday. Uh, then we have a concept <laughs> of time. Um, it's also filled with, like, monstrous things that are poisonous, can kill you, parasites, flesh-eating times, murder all around. Everything's just murdering everything all the time. Um, <laughs> something that was really horrifying for me is that, one, there are anemones that sting you. Starfish yeah. are terrifying. Uh, yeah. Great white sharks travel thousands of kilometers just to eat baby seals. Um, mm-hmm. And there's a coral that pushes its guts outside of its body. And dissolves other coral using digestive enzymes. And I just thought that was insane. So I learned all that from Netflix's dark, like it's like nature, but dark times. I forget what it's mm. called, but I'll put it a link to it, I guess, like when we do. Um, but I got a bunch of pictures of scary things. So I'm going to show them to you. And I titled and also this. explain them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Um, I call these this list awful things that need to stay far away from me. Um, the first is probably familiar to anybody who saw our other underwater time uh, because mm-hmm. it's zombie worms. Oh, they look right. Horrifying. Um, so there's several worms that love to feast on carcasses on land. There's the like, squeamish maggots or whatever the heck they're called. But down in the ocean, there are zombie worms. They suck out the nutrients out of any bones in the sea using feathery plumes. Um, That is not even the scary abyss. The words you see enjoying essentially a bone buffet uh, Mm -mm. are actually all female zombie worms filled with 111 males living inside of them. What? Yeah. (laughs) So that lovely image is just... (laughs) 111 worms what? inside of another worm. In case and then they just devour. We did talk about zombie worms in isolation underwater. Yeah. So if you want to hear about that a little bit. There's also the regular blue planet or whatever. It's in that. Yeah, that's so. true. Um, <laughs> next are bobbit worms. Aren't those cute? Um, yeah. Yeah. They're sand they look like strikers. Little crabs or something. Or like a yeah. hermit crab. No, because like look how long they are. And look at They're also face. really like gold. Like they're pretty pretty. They have these like these gold they're stripes game. that also have like rainbow game. things on it. But that's a worm, right? Like it's still going all the way into the ground. Okay, yeah. So it's like so, a centipede. Yes. Oh it's no. A big centipede baby. Um <laughs> They are marine ambush predators with bone-hard grappling hooks that can reach up to a length of the equivalent of a human's arm. These worms bury themselves in sand or gravel and can grab and drag their prey 20 feet per second, slicing them in one go using their large (laughs) spring-like retractable jaw with scissor-like serrated plates. Although they offer... I know. They offer no poison or actual harm to humans, although stepping on one can significantly cause painful wounds on your legs. Uh, If they do not harm you, simply looking at them will give you the creeps. Um, Yeah, and they will ruin your day. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, (laughs) There's lots of worms on my list. I just want to say that. The next one looks like intestines. So it's oh, mostly yeah. just like gross looking. It's not so much like it's that fine. It know, does I look guess. like intestines were dropped on the ground. Oh, I found it. Here you go. Yeah. It just looks Herbiscus. like a bunch of Ooh. Carboscis worms. Uh, they grow at lengths of up to two meters and scavenge for grubs on the sea floor. These worms will eat pretty much anything they come across and have very few, if any, predators. So they're just really gross. They're not so scary. It's just like I they upset me to like and that. undefeatable. Yeah, like nothing <laughs> fights them. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> the next one is it's also like crazy that I've memorized all of these. Uh but yeah. so the next one is a stonefish. Oh yeah. Perfectly. Yeah, camouflage. They look like a rock on the floor of a coral reef. The stonefish is the most venomous fish in the world. It has 13 spines along its back that release the venom, which could kill humans within just a few hours. 
So they just kind of like, little octopus was the most poisonous. I don't know. Or it says this one. Okay, I believe you. I'm just saying. It says this one. It might say it more than once. I don't know. I pulled these from different sources. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the next is the Sloan Viper fish, which is also terrifying looking. Um, it's less than a foot long, and it looks. It may seem relatively harmless, but its teeth are a force to be reckoned with. The fang-like choppers are more than half the size of the viper's head, allowing the fish to impale prey by swimming at the victim head first, mouth okay. agape. Okay, this so, fish looks like a penis, first of all. It does, yeah. But it, the head teeth. of it looks like <laughs> penis with teeth. It looks like the fish in Finding Nemo when is this like uh, I know what you're, you're talking gonna about. be my best friend. It's a whole other fish that also lives in the ocean, and it has a yeah. little light above its head. Yeah, it's it, this one doesn't looking. have the light, but it has the same face. Yeah. Uh, the so next good. one like is a, a call out to the bay. Yeah. Is Ooh. giant isopod baby. <laughs> I can't with them. Yeah, they're I so know that creepy. they're not dangerous, but they're the worst. Yeah, so these giant <laughs> ice spots live in the deep sea where they catch what they prey they can, allowing slow including slow-moving sea combers, sponges, and nematodes, but mostly scavenge the dead carcasses of fish, squid, and whales. Um, there's just, just so know. much... i my eyes for that one. Yeah, there's so much just, like, fish murder. Like, they just yeah. cannibalize each other. And I get, like, they're different species of fish, so it's not actually cannibalizing, but it's just, like, so much eating each other in murder times. I mean, we eat everything. I don't, I don't either. Like, do, I don't know? either. His texture. Um, <laughs> okay. But, okay. So then we have CC. Oh, CC. Yeah, lionfish uh, is known for its many spiky fin rays, which are also happen to be highly venomous. All the really pretty oh. fish are pretty venomous. Uh, found in the Caribbean it's and so East pretty. Atlantic Oceans, the lionfish packs a powerful sting if disturbed. The sting might not be fatal for humans, but it certainly can be painful so if you like think of that new girl episode it could have not been a jellyfish it could have been a lionfish they could have actually found that in the ocean because there are poisonous mm -hmm. and they just like didn't talk about that um, yeah and it was very illegal for him to have it in yeah Nigo. i imagine because they're poisonous yeah <laughs> they murder you babies. can't have them as pets because they will kill you yeah they're um, murderers so my least favorite is next uh, snakes, but they're water baby snakes. They're sea snakes <laughs> uh, found in the Indian Pacific oceans. There are around 50 different species of sea snakes. The most poisonous species is the beach sea snake, whose venom is eight times as toxic as a cobra's. Just oh. 1.5 milligrams of its venom could kill you in up to eight humans. So not even just one <laughs> human, eight humans. Sure. Luckily, they are not known to attack humans often. Just don't provoke them. Just sometimes. Yeah. Who's provoking them? Who's like, no. Nah, I nah. feel like there's a jerk out there that's like, I'm going to mess with this snake and then regret it. So, yeah. That sounds accurate to me. So, sea urchins are also in the water. They're just little spiky balls of poison. Um, they have sharp poisonous spines which are extremely painful as they pierce the skin the puncture wounds have a tendency to become infected um, but there is one picture here the flower urchin uh, is one of the more perilous sea creatures as its extremely painful stings can lead to paralysis and even death they are usually found on rocky or sandy seabeds of coral reefs in the pacific and indian oceans uh, but essentially are venomous uh and you don't want to let its beauty fool you. Each of these flowers is actually a tentacle with a little jaw mm -mm. that can inject toxins, toxic venoms into your and into you and potentially kill you. Um, and it was named one of the most dangerous sea urchins in the 2014 Guinness Book of World Records and is on a list of 30 reasons why the ocean is scarier than space. The next one is a coral. It's fire mm. coral. It's very pretty. It's also um, very pretty. Nemo lives there. No, that's an anemone. An oh, I'm sorry. Not the stinging ones. Look just like me. a regular guy. This is where they left and they went to touch the butt. <laughs> anyway, go on. Do your facts. Fire coral. <laughs> uh, actually, aren't corals apparently? So, like, why is what? that its name? They're members of the Hydrosa class, which is closely related to jellyfish. Uh, these creatures that ironically attached to coral can inflict a serious sting that causes burning or raised rash. So that's just like a bad time. The next one is a little octopus. It's actually very cute. So it's a shame that it's so deadly. 
So the blue ricked octopus is really cute and it's oh, all yes. little. It's all little and cute. It but is so cute. It's so murderous. Uh, so it's found in the waters of Australia and Japan. The blue ricked octopus is as dangerous as it is spectacular. When provoked, it's ti- this tiny octopus will start flashing a bright neon blue. Whilst it may be a dazzling sight, one bite can kill a human. The and it's, yeah, it's gross in that way. The puffer fish has nothing to do with the blue ringed octopus, but it's as venomous, is venomous 10,000 times more lethal than cyanide. So Yikes. that's fun. I've seen like videos, like TikToks and like just random videos where let's show someone like, oh, look at this cute thing. And then it's just like, it cuts to someone being like, they did. Yeah. <laughs> like, or there's like, I white also people. misread what it was. Is the pufferfish has nothing on the blue ringed octopus gotcha. as its venom is 10,000 more times more lethal than cyanide. And there is no antidote that exists. Yeah. You so, just, it shuts down your system, your nervous system. Yeah, you get system, it, you die. It's what happens. It's sad for you. Uh, <laughs> But you probably deserved it for touching the Yeah. Cause it warns you, it gives you big blue light. It says, Don't touch me. I'm very pretty. Leave me alone. Uh, and then Same. you're like, I want to touch it. And then you touch it and you're dead. So wait, wait, wait. But look at me. Look at my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> big blue light. I'm beautiful. Don't touch me. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing is a textile cone snail. Uh, so cool. which is also super pretty. Uh, but Essentially, uh, the cone snail, if you get too close to it, uh, it basically injects venom through their radular teeth capable of paralyzing and killing a human. So that little thing at the front there, mm-hmm. uh, this is radular teeth. It lives a little bite and you're dying. Um, it looks like a shell. It looks very pretty. If you aren't, if you're listening, just go to our YouTube and watch Cat's fact section so you can see all the fish in the yeah. pictures. Um, the next one is familiar. It's a blowfish slash puffer fish, um, and it possesses venom that is 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, so slightly less than the blue-rigged octopus, but still pretty bad. Um, they're one of the most toxic animals in the world, but despite their deadliness, the inflated fish is considered a delicacy in Japan, mm-hmm. where trained chefs prepare it for exorbitant fees. And they have to be really specific about taking out the poison part. Yeah. Because it like, and it's like, it's like an art almost like to yeah. get that thing out of there. Yeah. You got to be really talented. Um, yeah. The next one is, I love its name. It's the flamboyant cuttlefish, but you don't want to cuddle Same. it. You don't want to cuddle it. I'm a flamboyant cuttlefish. Yeah. It is the only toxic cuttlefish known to exist. The colorful creature has been compared to the blue ringed octopus as in its poisonous flesh could kill any predator that dares to feast on it. And like the blue ringed octopus, uh, marine biologists believe that it, this toxic tank dweller uses its vibrant colors to warn potential predators to stay away. I disagree because I am also toxic and a flamboyant cuddler. So you're not poison though, babe. Like you're not, you know, <laughs> toxic, you're not made of poison. Okay. You're not the Britney Spears song or whoever made it originally that Britney Spears sang it also. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm picking it up. This guy, Crown of Thorns Starfish. So, starfish are really scary. I watched it like in the darkness documentary. It like ate other shelled fish in like a really gruesome way. And they just are really gross. And there's so many tiny little holes that make them up. But this oh, guy yeah. is I a spiky guy. This is a spiky starfish. Uh, so generally around 13 inches in diameter, the crown of thorns starfish is larger and much more dangerous than its benign, literally washed up relatives on the seashore. The coral loving creature is covered in poisonous spines that cause intense, immediate pain lasting for up to three hours. The next one is called a stargazer. It is very funny looking. It's a funny looking guy. Look at him. Do? Mood. Yeah. He looks very grumpy. He looks like a grumpy old man. Like yeah. a grumpy Republican. Yeah, they just bury down in the sand, and you don't see them, so you can't avoid them because they just blend in there. Um, and if you accidentally step on one, you'll know if you've been stung by bleeding, pain, swelling, and slight electrocution. So, <laughs> just a little electrocution well, for a treat. Yeah, electrocution for a treat. Uh, this last, uh, my last one I got here. Uh, is this creepy little? Look at his teeth. Look at his, look at his teeth. He has teeth that have extra teeth. Like, each one of his teeth is several teeth. (laughs) He has 300 rows of needle-like teeth. The shark snags soft-bodied squid and fish in the deep. 
how it attacks prey is unknown because it's in the deep deep of the ocean um and just its teeth are so gross it's scary look at its little needle guys it's gonna it looks it's also like, so rude that it attacks soft bodied when it has teeth like this like yeah it could get hard it's bodied being, stuff yeah like what are you doing yeah it's in there just murdering stuff it's all scary and whatnot I'll also point out that, like, these are all things that we know exist. Yeah. Because they're where we can see. Yeah. But there's just, like, <laughs> there's so much. There's so much in the we don't know time. There's um, so much we don't know. There's so much of the, just the scary, the water is evil and wants to murder you times. Cthulhu is down there. Otherwise, where yeah. did Cthulhu come from in our brains? Well, that's what I, I think, like, I think it's funny because most Lovecraftian horror, so Lovecraft just was, like, Sea creatures are scary, snakes are scary, bugs are scary. And he yeah. just, like, all his creatures and, are, and like, right. Me... That's the one thing he's right about. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, uh, uh, and bats or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, all of his stuff is just, like, what do people not want to see? Probably a lot of eyes and slimy creatures with too many appendages that are alien. And it's also funny because, like, I've been reading Dawn by Octavia Butler, yeah. her um, Lilith Brood series, and the aliens in that, the Uloi, are, like, kind of I, when I, the way I've been envisioning them is kind of Cthulhuan. Because <laughs> yeah. like, they have, like, tentacles, but it's, like, their tentacles are their hair and their face, and it's really weird to explain. Yeah. Um, but that's what they are. So, I think it's, like, totally fair to think, like, if aliens exist, that they would look like our sea creatures because they ha also have to exist in harsh environments and are probably just as like conniving and deadly and beautiful, also. Yeah. And the one documentary I was watching was so scary. They like fast forwarded what it looked like and all like the anemones and the little coral and stuff like moved really fast and it looked like they were just like crawling. Yeah. And like really? being so scared. It was like its arms were moving, like, but like in a really creepy spider like way. And it was horrible. Yeah. It was but horrible. it takes them like forever to do that because yeah. they're like really slow. Yeah. And, and it's like that joke in Nemo who needs friends like these when you have anemones? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Living in them and anemone. Yeah. Anemone. Um, great. That was fun. Kat, do you feel like you've convinced everyone to be afraid of the ocean appropriately? I mean, I hope so. Uh, one day we'll talk about like all the ways in which if we don't stop the ocean from being mad, it will kill us. Uh, but mm -hmm. now you know it's down there, so you like don't want it to come up here. You want it to stay in the ocean. Um, and if you want to also just be scared of water in general, watch our bay episode. Yeah. yeah. If you want to see what happens when we are affecting it. And yeah. how it, like what happens if it needs to evolve and fight back <laughs> and yeah. it does we decide that we are a snack for it yeah it's like remember your flesh we don't want you to have that now <laughs> sorry you know your tongue that you're very attached to yeah. <laughs> so am i i'm now your tongue <laughs> yeah i've replaced your tongue that giant isopod is now inside your belly uh it's all this little that's fun it's so legs. fun um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then also like on top of that, you have this film that tells you that like we just can't exist down there either. Like the environment itself, like not even just like the creatures down there, but just the existence of the ocean is not fit for humans. So yeah. we can't be doing that. Yeah. Uh so <laughs> hopefully you're enjoying. Uh next week we're gonna be talking about my fear, and then we're at two hundred. 200 episodes so make sure you're liked and subscribed uh let us know what your favorite ghouls episode is um just because we would love to hear you know and we are thinking about like revisiting certain topics and maybe doing it in a different way um yeah. we are starting a coffee account so that you can support us in a lot of our future endeavors like we're gonna try um making some more films we're gonna try uh <laughs> just to be able to support ourselves um we're gonna try yeah, if you like our already just regular know. content you can give money to it because that's what it's gonna do we just yeah pay us for, help us for what do already this. do you know yeah help us keep do this yeah um and then like shout out to some of our new followers on youtube and just elsewhere we have joseph wilson hey we are listening you've been chatting yeah, to us this whole time dope. we really appreciate you saying that um and there's been a few people who just like started subscribing and we really appreciate you we have a uh, mr sugar happy zero one 
Daunting Phoenix, uh, like I said, Joseph Wilson, <laughs> um, Sydney Toll. Yeah, yeah whoa, welcome. there's like a lot. It's pretty cool. I don't know, you know, what you all are expecting. <laughs> Brian Hopefully Denson. you like it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Hathaway, Ferrix. Wow, there's like so many. Also, like, if you have been watching us on TikTok and you found your way to our channel, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Let us know. Um, be sure to check out our Twitch streams. Uh, they're not quite regular yet, but eventually they will be. And you can watch me, Gabe, um, try to play Elden Ring. It's very scary. I'm not very good. And most of it is just me running away and screaming, but it yeah. could be fun for other people. <laughs> yeah. And one day I'll do it again. We'll figure it out, you know. Yeah, maybe we'll have a regular schedule. I uh, tried to play Dying Light, but it's really hard to do that with headphones in. Just because the zombies are always yelling. They're always yeah. just screaming. And it's like to just have that here <laughs> instead of everywhere was a yeah. lot. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> well, if we come up with a regular, like if you want to see that, let us know. Like, leave us a comment. Uh, if you want to see regular Twitch content, support us if you want to see something like that too. Um, if there, if you have your own thoughts about underwater, if you're like, no, Gabe, you're wrong. <laughs> the movie is not it was good. So bad. But I totally get it. I totally yeah. get what you're saying. But also, you're wrong because it's a great film and I love it. <laughs> Um, and next week we're going to talk about a film that is one of my favorites now. So it was so scary. It's so, it, like that one was legitimately scary for yeah. both of us in ways that like weren't just like put yourself in the shoes. It was just like wow, everything in my house is haunted. Gross I couldn't now. sleep. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Yeah. So we'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about two hundred, and then we're on to a new series. So um, <laughs> yeah, don't get married. Delete your kids, cool. or your kids will have to be in the ocean forever. Water world. Yeah. And then your daughter has the map to land tattooed on her back, I think is the plot. Someone asked Roland. He that's his favorite movie. Anyway. I don't, know. <laughs> don't, do it don't have the, the kids, the babies, the marriage, the times. Because ocean's scary. You know what okay, yeah. Because we're I mean, we're ruining the ocean. Ruining the Lula's, world. Cthulhu is gonna End it all anyway, so why even have to? Because is sad octopus. He's sad. He's sad. He says, stop hurting me so that Ooh. I don't have to come up to land and murder you all. No, he wants to do that. He's excited. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye, everyone.